It's official. The deal is done. Kelly Harper is the new head coach of the Lady Vols. She becomes the fifth head coach of the Lady Vol program. She takes over after the university fired Holly Warlick in March after seven seasons. Harper spent the last six seasons with Missouri State. 10 Sports reporter Luis Fernandez joins us now with a breakdown of her contract. Luis. Harper is a Vol for life. She graduated from UT in 1999. The university says she agreed to a five year contract making $750,000 a year. Philip Fulmer calls her a proven winner. The announcement comes after the Vols yesterday agreed to a contract extension for men's coach Rick Barnes at $4.7 million. So how does his record contract impact the ladies program? Longtime Lady Vol beat reporter Dan Flesser says things are starting to change. It struck me what the, what went down yesterday, it kind of was a reflective of the fact that I think the two basketball programs, literally in, in the time that I've been here, have, have changed places. He's talking about money spent on coaching salaries. Back in the days of Pat Summit, the Lady Vols head coach was the highest paid women's coach in the country, making it just over $1 million. While the names passing through the men's sides weren't expensive contracts. So what does a big contract for Rick Barnes mean for the Lady Vols and, and Kelly Jolly Harper? Longtime Lady Ball beat reporter Maria Cornelius is more concerned about the fine print of the contract. I think the salary will be commensurate with the job. What you have to look at are the bonus structures, and the women's basketball coach needs to be compensated fairly as, as the men's basketball coach is. Here's an example. For making the NCAA tournament, Rick Barnes was given $125,000 bonus. Holly Warlick, for the same achievement, a $20,000 bonus. So would UT be able to afford an elite men's and women's basketball coaching contract? I would have to see it to believe it. Maybe that day will come, uh, but but right now I, I would be skeptical that they would go that, that far when you because you also have to consider the amount of money they're paying football coaches and coaches that are no longer here. But Cornelius is still confident about the future of Lady Vol basketball. Unequivocally, with everything that was done, with all the people that were interviewed, with the decisions made, I, I can honestly say, Yes, Tennessee cares about Lady Vols basketball. Tennessee will formally introduce Harper in a press conference tomorrow afternoon at 4. We'll bring you live coverage on WBIR and WBIR.com.